How long has she been here? About six weeks. She and, she and I named her Patty the Pity. She was here with another dog that we've kind of adopted, we think. And so she's at home right now, getting very upset because I'm not there. Um, she was lactating a lot when we got here. Very skinny. We never found the puppies. It was really mm -hmm. sad. And she's uh, very anxious. Oh, yeah. And you can see around the corner, she's chewed apart the fence big time. Uh, um, so she's just lonely. Yeah. And uh, they feed her, but they, they, they don't want her to... Uh, they don't want to get in trouble because she chased a bike with bicycle out there. So, and, and who's yeah. the packing plant people feeding her or the? No, this, these people rent this house for the last 20 something years. They're very nice. So I know all their names and have their emails. They're very sweet. Yeah. And uh, we were going to have, leave it here for the long term until I found homes and got everybody needed and fixed. But uh, we already got one spaying that was extremely pregnant just four days ago. She's at my house. Yeah, we don't need to get pregnant again. I got an appointment at Animal Action League for her at the end of the month. This one? Yeah. Okay. For Joshua Tree, which we could take her up there if that would be helpful. My, my husband, we already have, so now we've got two dogs. And he's kind of falling apart over not having a third. But she's a good girl and she really needs some love. See that? Yeah. She says, I love to kiss. I love the brown patch. Me too. I was going to, I was going to call her BB for brown butt, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> you kiss? Mm, you need to have a bath. Yes, you do. You had the biggest boobies when I met you. Oh, it was so sad. Oh, it was so sad, and you must have been so confused. Good girl. Good girl.